In a world gripped by fear and chaos, a mysterious fungus known as Uranium Fungus begins its silent takeover of the planet in both the environment and humanity itself. As society crumbles and scientists scramble for answers, an unsettling discovery is made. Voyager 1, the far-reaching space probe, captures haunting audio signals from the depths of space. The sounds suggest an imminent threat approaching Earth intent on annihilating all of humanity. Are the fungus and the ominous cosmic entity connected? Can humanity unravel the mystery in time to save itself? Dive into a chilling journey where every answer leads to deeper, darker questions. Hello there internet dwellers, welcome back to another video. Today we are reacting to a series called Nuclear Nightmare by Krusty Lobster. Be sure to go and support the creator, their link will be down below in the description. Go like the video, go watch the videos for yourself, subscribe, leave a nice comment, and we're going to just jump straight into this. Nuclear Nightmare Analog Horror Disturbing News Report from the Soviet Union. One of the atomic reactors at the Chernobyl atomic power plant has exploded. Oh. People are mysteriously dying from radiation and reports... Wait, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You're saying that the nuclear power plant in Chernobyl has exploded and people are mysteriously dying of radiation poisoning. I mean, that... Okay, hang on, let me just, let, let me just make sure that's what, what was said. Exploded. Yeah. People are mysteriously dying from radiation. And I don't think that's a mystery. I think you know you uh you, you just blew up a power plant, a nuclear power plant, and uh, that's going to cause radiation poisoning, I right? Say that a rumbling shockwave has been sent around the globe from the, the explosions. Wow. People are not just dying from the explosion. Yeah. There have been reports of spiky, six to eight feet tall, jet black spiders that are appearing. What the hell was that? Ew! Spiders that are appearing around the globe, okay. causing mayhem, and is killing and infecting thousands of people as we speak. More news on the hour. More news on the hour. So casual, man. Okay, here we go. Mutated uranium. What's that? Hang on. What what just happened? Was that? That's not Earth, right? What was that? Let's go back. That's not Earth. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, that was a very strange introduction to the series. Uh, I think that was that video was actually added. Um, not long ago actually so i'm watching a playlist right now guys with the this this series in viewing order i believe so that one was uploaded 20 hours ago and there's one here that was uploaded literally 55 minutes ago so whether or not this is still being completed but this says this is a, a prequel to the full series so i imagine this is the full series now analog horror Nuclear nightmare. Right, yeah, so this was the one that I guess started it all. It's got 525,000 views. Yeah, I guess it started this series and it was four months ago. Here we go. Government announcement. FEMA. FEMA. The government would like to inform the public of a new fungus disease spreading like fire lit is known as uranium fungus. Uranium fungus. Okay. Uranium fungus is caused when a human accidentally eats or consumes uranium, either as a liquid or a Okay, I don't know how you can accidentally consume uranium. I don't know what, what kind of dietary diets people are on to consume uranium, but... Symptoms of uranium fungus may be... Oculi 2 in face argent. What does that mean? If you or a loved one has been infected with uranium fungus, then it is too late. 
Right, okay. Stay inside any shelter that does not have any infected individuals in it. Okay, well, there was a little pause during there. That does not have any infected individuals in it. Okay, so just tall, like, very, like, kind of stereotypical analog horror, tall limbs uh, entity, basically. Make no noise. Okay. To stay safe, always have a gun at all times. Well, if you're in the UK, you're screwed. You know, we've got knives to defend ourselves. Not even that. They'll be taken away from you soon as Turn well. off all cellular phones. The infected ones show no aggression unless large amounts of sounds are dedicated at it. They have long, dedicated. sharp black claws and can travel at speeds of up to 45 to 78 miles per hour. So it's an Enderman, basically, from Minecraft. This makes them one of the most dangerous animals on the globe. Wow, okay. There is suspected to be 800,000 uranium anomalies in the world, most of them being in Canada and Alaska. 800,000 and most of them are in Canada and Alaska. A lot of people do not know what uranium is. Uranium is a toxic material that powers most of the nuclear bombs and nukes in the world, making it rare and somewhat radioactive. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, it powers nuclear power plants, yeah. If you see the anomaly chasing just... Right. This turned into freaking uh, a trollge incident. I'm giving it a chance, guys. I'm not going to just be completely critical of this, okay? Made by Krusty Lobster. Okay, so what have we learned so far, guys? That there is there is a fungus known as uranium fungus, and it were, it looked like it was a, a, a part of a meteor that collided with something else, and why it headed to Earth through that, and now it's infecting people. But I'm guessing what the cover story is is that the Chernobyl power. So this must have been in 1986, right? Oh no, this is 1996 here. I swear that the Chernobyl explosion was 1986, wasn't it? Yeah, April 1986. So, I mean, Chernobyl have already exploded by this point, unless they're trying to say that it just exploded again. But was it deactivated after the explosion? I'm, I'm assuming it was. I think it definitely was, actually, because that whole area is contaminated. It's it's suffering with radiation, literally radiation, right? I would love to go visit there, by the way. I'd love to go visit Kiev. Was it Kiev? Pripyat. Was that it? Pripyat or Kiev? I, th I think they were both... I, I, I don't know. I'm getting that confused. The city... Near the city of Pripyat. Okay, there we go. I was fascinated with that. There's a series called Chernobyl. And if you haven't seen it, check it out. Phenomenal. Really good. Let's move on. Nuclear Nightmare Analog Horror Face Report January 12, 1996 So this is in viewing order, by the way. I, I think I already said that. I record the patient's face since this will show more difference. Okay. Spoken like a true doctor. Good lord. Looks like an insect. No change. Oh, sorry. That was his normal no face. Change. The patient has been acting normally, but abnormal black spikes have appeared on the skin. That doesn't sound good, man. That doesn't sound normal to me. January 20, 1996. He is different. <laughs> Who's doing this freaking experiment? Oh, good lord. He's turned into freaking Mickey Mouse. His face is thorny. His face is thorny. That's one way of putting it. His face looks like something from Mandela Catalog. He stole his own skin. How do you do that? He laughed at his skin. He ate his skin. It's going to be a loud sound, isn't it? He peeled up his skin. He peeled up his skin. Okay, stop. He peeled off his skin. Holy shit, that's a long ass neck. Oh my god. That's literally how like children look at people with disabilities when they're riding on a bus. Of humanity. Okay. okay, interesting. So, so that it's 
whatever this uh, fungal infection is, this uh, uranium fungus, is it changes the structure, the anatomy of humans that it comes across. So I guess like The Last of Us, because that was a fungal infection as well, it uses the humans as a host and grows from there. It, like uses the life source of humans and grows from there. So technically there is still a person inside there, which is a terrifying thought because if you play The Last of Us, you can sometimes hear when you shoot like a, a clicker or you shoot a zombie, you can hear them saying, kill me or help me because they, they can't control themselves and that must be horrible because they're like it's almost like locked in syndrome and they must just be oh god it's a, it's a horrible thought so maybe this is exactly the same thing this whatever this fungal infection is it uses the human as a host to grow from and to do whatever it's going to do basically nuclear nightmare analog horror picture Okay, here we go. No sightings of your alien creatures have been spotted around the globe's dead city. Sorry guys, there we go. Heavy made no noise. Wait, what, wait, hang on, go. Stay inside. Okay, okay, it sounded like it was cut off then. New sightings of uranium creatures have been spotted around the globe. Stay inside and make no more noise. Moise. I just said moise. Heavy made no noise. Okay. My home. Unidentified aerial phenomenon. Anomaly reports. Three million uranium creatures have been spotted. My God, they're, they're producing fast. Two have been captured and contained by the FBI. Just two of them out of three million? I mean, this the, the FBI is doing a, a shoddy job. Here is an example of a report. Here is Tommy. Hello, Tommy. After Tommy saw an, an anomaly, he was sent to the hospital. He drew a picture. Tommy drew this. What does that say? Benny. He named it like it's a pet? People are still unsure why people are eating uranium. Yeah, stop eating uranium, guys. Like it's Cocoa Pops or something. Like they're, they're, they're taking it off the shelf and just eating it. But the government will try to find the answer one day. What do you mean they will try to like, yeah, look, listen, we got more important things to do, okay? Okay, well that's, um, Chernobyl. One day. I would love to visit there, man. Obviously, like, there's there's a lot of radiation still there, but there are tours that you can do around that, like, abandoned area. And it's just, it's crazy to see because you still see things of, like, people that have left behind. It's crazy. I just, I love, like, real world mysteries. Like, not mysteries, but just, like, law, I guess. Human law or history. Made by Krusty Lobster. Okay, so is this the actual fungus and the... Under a telescope? Telescope. Microscope. Freaking telescope. Trying to look into like a bacteria with a telescope. That's crazy. Okay, there we go. So we found out that there are 3 million infected or fungal like people infected by uranium. People are just eating uranium for some reason. I'm assuming that the people who get infected are carrying around uranium with them and maybe they have a desire to eat more to make this thing grow stronger. Maybe it's uranium that makes this thing stronger and they're using the human as a host to go off and grow stronger from that. Nuclear nightmare analog horror. Infection. What? What? What is this? My God! Uranium fungi. I just got flash banged. What are crowders? Crowders are a result of any human consuming uranium. Okay. They are six feet tall and have long yellow to red-colored vines hanging off their jet black skin. 
Here is a picture taken. That did say skin, didn't it? Oh, good lord. Look at that thing. It's Groot. This is Groot's origin stories. If you encounter one, run. Or just get a flamethrower. If you see it running towards you, pray, I'm guessing. Give up all hope. Well, that's not very optimistic. Come on, man. This is meant to be like an official kind of uh, agency, a government body right here. And they're telling us just to give up hope. My God, why do we elect people like this? Where do our taxes go? Not mine, because this is obviously in America. Thanks for watching this FBI training tape. Bro, who is behind that? Johnny was deformed for several minutes. His lungs were melting. Ugh, that doesn't sound good. That sounds quite nasty. They were sprouting. Okay, so it literally is like Last of Us. This is him. He's him, guys. Right. Okay. There has been a nuclear accident in the Soviet Union, and the Soviets have admitted that it happened. The Soviet version is this. One of the atomic reactors at the Chernobyl atomic power plant... The way people say Chernobyl. Chernobyl? Chernobyl. Tomato, tomato, right? I don't know. Okay, so they're saying that the Chernobyl power plant explosion or whatever was due to this uranium fungus and or, or something like that. Or like maybe what happened was, what happened was this. Uranium fungus came to Earth. It spread across all these people. Okay, for some reason it was mainly in Canada and Alaska, so I have no idea how they got all the way over to, what's it, Ukraine slash Russia? I think it's Ukraine. And I'm guessing they, they use uranium to feed, like, their power, like I said before. And so what's happened is maybe the people who were behind the explosion who, like, weren't paying attention were actually these fungal people who were doing it on purpose so that they can grow bigger, maybe? Something like that. Nuclear Nightmare Analog Horror Plutonium Okay, this is the next video, guys. Depleted Uranium Hazard Awareness. Dua. Battlefields and fighting are by nature hazardous to your health. Yeah. Some I mean, get, what, say that again. No, let me just... Battlefields and fighting are by nature hazardous to your health. Yeah, I would, I would agree with that. That's a, I mean, it's a pretty broad statement it's a pretty broad statement but yeah that's i would agree with that some hazards are easy to identify and well understood yeah soldiers recognize the serious hazards presented by incoming artillery shells and bullets and take appropriate actions yeah however some lesser hazards from new technological applications are not so well known and recognized yeah now nowadays world war three you're going to be sent over there like if that world war three ever comes out it used to be just gun against gun, tanks, mate, like the air, air, you know, like freaking aircrafts, right? Shooting down, maybe. Nowadays, they just send drones at 90 miles per hour. You're just going to hear <laughs> like that, and then you're going to die. That's as simple as that. Don't go to war, guys, okay? Because you're going to die in a foreign country for a rich person that you don't even know and doesn't even care about you. One of these newer applications is the use of depleting in munitions and... The use of what? New update. New elements have been detected in the uranium fungi. Such as... Plutonium. Blue... P polonium. Human flesh. Well, that's not good. Please stay indoors and thank you. You are about to see an encounter with a crowder. Crowder? Viewer's, di viewer's discretion is advised. Here we go. Found footage. Damn, how much bounty do you need? My god, you're, you're stockpiling. Hey, put your flashlight up. 
What the hell was that? Maybe if you didn't have your flashlight around, you would have probably survived that. That dude looked like... What did he look like? He looked like freaking... Hang on, let's go back. That's an eyeball right there. What's all this here? The fat head? Yeah, that's really weird. Do not react. When you're looking at that thing, you tell me not to react. I would shit my own pants. Nuclear Nightmare Analog Horror. Voyager 1 Anomaly. International Announcement, NATO. The recent uranium fungus has been taking over our planet. Yeah. For over six of the population is left. Well, that's a very specific fraction. But that is not what we read here for. Well, oh really? Okay. <laughs> here is sound footage from Voyager 1. That doesn't sound good. It sounds like someone's screaming in space. I thought you couldn't scream in space. That would be pretty terrifying to hear, I can't lie. Jesus! New pictures were shot by NASA's Earth viewer. Why is this so upbeat? Here they are. Okay, this is pretty cool. What is that? What? That's meant to be Earth? They're changing its hat. Okay, I'm a little bit confused. So what the, it's actually, uh, is this go alluding to the fact that this thing is actually infected the earth itself and is, it, uh, and is affecting the formation of the earth, the, the way the continents look or whatever. The, I think there was a big ice thing there i'm guessing i'm not sure if that was already there i don't know i don't know much about the earth and how it's meant to actually look uh, i guess i know where continents are supposed to be and there is big ice at the top there so it could just be normal but so yeah is this alluding to the fact that this fungus has gotten into the earth and is changing the earth itself nuclear nightmare analog horror Hubble Archives. NASA Hubble. NASA would like to show some new great pictures to the public. I mean, is this the real time to be doing? I guess you want a little bit of positivity, maybe. What, they said four six of the planet had been infected at this point. Bro, I don't care about what's out there at the moment. It has sparked amazement and oddness in our scientists. Okay and may give us a clue to Earth's future. We're screwed. Picture one, hourglass nebula. That's a straight up eyeball. Picture two, the cartwheel galaxy. Picture three, Mars. Why Mars? Picture four, in Ultima Parte Terre. This is Tommy. Hey, Tommy. How's it going, man? Remember him. <laughs> okay. Sounds like a threat. Since Tommy's incident in the hospital, he is not okay. Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a given. Doesn't look great. He has drawn pictures of weird things. He's a very strange child. But we are here for one drawing. We are here for one drawing. He calls it Earth's Last Stand. What a freaking some kind of Alden Ring boss. The history of the okay, that, so what? That, that thing 
is going to help Earth, apparently. Some kind of cosmic deity, cosmic being. Okay, so where do they even capture this? That's the thing. And what even is this thing? And they're saying it's Earth's last hope. This mermaid looking creature. Let's just move on to the next video. Nuclear Nightmare Analog Horror, Season 1 Finale, History. Here we go, this is Season 1 Finale, apparently, so... The history of the year, uranium... In the time and space, approximately 4.4 billion years ago, an asteroid the size of Mars hit Earth. Oh, okay. Okay, so that was Earth 4.4 billion years ago. Interesting. The asteroid contained large amounts of mutated uranium. Okay. The asteroid's uranium got down deep in the Earth and stayed there forever. Forever? Now. Well, that's not forever then. <laughs> Fast forward to the year 1986. Chernobyl had happened, and when the explosion happened, it sent a supermassive shockwave through the Earth, causing interesting. Okay. The mutated uranium to come out of the ground and infect humans. Interesting. Okay, that's a pretty cool concept. I won't lie. Not only did the shockwave turn people into beasts, yeah. it also sent a cosmic signal to a creature in space known briefly as Earth's last stand. Earth's last. Look at the size of that thing. That could you that thing could pick Earth up like a baseball and throw it. Jeez. Scientists of the world have found what the creature's location is. This is the observable universe, right? Or is it not? Or is this meant to be Earth? Here is a diagram of its updated location. No, this has got to be the observable universe. Never mind, hang on a sec. Interstellar space. Okay, so this is where, uh, you know, we are, Earth, right there. Where is it? Voyager 2 is there. Oort cloud. Here? This red thing? Season 2 coming soon. I mean, I'll, I'll admit, that kind of got good towards the end there. I mean, it's, it's a good concept, but obviously it's like you're given bits and pieces here and there. Um, but there's a way that you're meant to do that, like spoon feed people to make them want more, which definitely happened at the start. But I'd say towards the end of season one here, I'm definitely more intrigued now because you learned that it was the Chernobyl explosion that it awoken this thing. I think there's a there's a good story here for sure. I'm putting like grammar and stuff aside because that's just a harsh critique, you know. I think it has a decent story for sure. Okay, so that was the end of season one. Um, I thought this next video was going to be the longest video, but this is just basically season one in its full. So we're going to skip past this one because we've already basically just watched season one. We're going to start onto season two here. And there's only four videos so far. And I think it is still being updated, to be fair, because uh, this last one was literally uploaded like an hour ago. So let's move on to the next video, which is a new season of Nuclear Nightmare. Nuclear Nightmare Analog Horror Mockery To miniature solar systems surrounded by breathtaking rings that belie a violent and devastating past. Oh dear. Oh dear. What is this? Aeronautics and Space Administration. National Aeronautics. This is the Proxima Century system. It contains many interesting and unique planets, but we are here for one individual one. Yeah. Proxima B. What's on Proxima, Proxima B? Proxima B is one of the only exoplanets that has a small chance of supporting life, but whether this goes as good news or bad news, it is supporting life. This is where scientists are making a theory that- Wait, it is supporting life? That this is where the creature from outer space lies. Okay. Voyager 1 has also gone offline as soon as scientists figured this out. Right. It was taken out, was it? What's that meant to be? 
This is a video of the ISS losing signal and losing all communications. The International Space Station. Jesus, look at that guy's biceps. My God. It was June 1, 1999. Astronauts Daniel T. Berry and Rick D. Husband were in a spacewalk fixing an airlock. When they started hearing strange noises... At first, they thought it was shouting. How can you hear anything in space? But then they realized it was an owl in space. What's with the applause? They started hearing cheering. This was the last sound they heard before going offline. Here is the last sound. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. And honestly, that sounds pretty terrifying. The debris was found floating around space a few days later. The most important thing to remember about their, the deaths are the sounds they heard. It is suspected that the noises they heard are coming from the creature in space. I thought you couldn't make... You can't make sound in space. The, the, the only way you can hear sound in space is by translating radio waves or something like that i'm not a genius i'm not like a genius i'm not a, like a professional on the thing but, but space is an airlock and therefore waves can't really pass through like sound waves can't pass through so you wouldn't actually hear anything in space unless it was like a communication thing maybe with like walkie talkies inside the helmets and stuff but you're not actually going to hear something out of space you'd have to like translate the waves or you, I forgot what it is. You translate something into radio waves or something like that. I, I, I don't know what it was. There was a fragment of Morse code at the beginning of the tape. It read, it sees through them. Possibly meaning that. Potus vider per terem creature. Okay, listen. You can't just go from English to Latin, okay? He can see through the Earth's creatures. What the hell does that mean? Okay, so that was in 1999. So this this thing is getting closer to Earth, and apparently it's Earth's last stand. So Earth at this point is pretty screwed. It's like completely infected. Four sixths of the planet are completely taken over by this thing, and this this big creature is headed on its way to Earth. They say it's Earth's last stand, but we don't know if it actually is. I mean, I, I don't know what it can do. What can that thing of that size possibly do? Like, because everything it does, it's going to be like too big, you know, to like do anything specific you know unless it brings in some surgical equipment or something uh let's find out maybe we'll find out now nuclear nightmare analog horror prototype 42 the plan to point a giant flashlight at the creature by sending half the world into a blackout what what, like 20th Century Fox? <laughs> Project location, Tucson, Arizona, size half a mile. Prototype 42 was built as a giant flashlight to point up into space so that when the creature comes to Earth, Half of the Earth will go on a blackout and the flashlight will be pointed at the creature, hopefully. <laughs> oh, hopefully blinding its eyes and turning it to the other direction. It's meant to be Earth's last stand, though. It will work like this. Imagine that, like a creature of cosmic proportions, right? Cthulhu-esque. Coming to Earth, right? So, I don't know what its intentions are. It's coming to Earth. Here it comes, right? It's like, oh, Jesus Christ, shine the flashlight. Oh, Oh god, no, I'm good. You think that's what you think it's not just gonna close its eyes and just go to Earth? Come on, man. Come on, think logically here. These guys are meant to be experts. Oh, oh good heavens! <laughs> man, but imagine that though. Imagine how bright that would be. That's gonna blind a lot of people. I don't think because if it's good enough to go out into space and like affect this creature, what's it gonna do to people on Earth? 
the remainder of the population is going to die or go blind. What did that just say? There was something there. Do you see that? I don't know what that says. Like, I don't know what these guys are doing. Like, at this point, Earth's pretty much gone, right? The, the fungus has taken over. And a thing that's known as Earth's last stand from this little kid... Or maybe that, that kid was infected, right? So maybe... I don't know. They're lying. I don't know. Let's just ca carry on. Years before Voyager 1 went offline, it captured a diagram of our solar system. Using this diagram, we can determine the creature's new location. Okay. Oh, jeez. That's pretty freaking close. That's uh, near Uranus. <laughs> we are doomed. Bro, it's Earth's last chance, okay? Who knows? It might come in and have a gentle word with the creatures and be like, guys, come on now. You've had your fun. Come on, go home. Go go back into the, the earth. Right, that's it. You, you're hurting these people now. Nuclear Nightmare Analog Horror. The Cure. <laughs> okay, here we go. Welcome to the Crowded Termination Facility. A facility designed to extract and exterminate all Crowders. Crowders, I don't know how to say that. We have came up with a plan. Mm -hmm. So bright. Materials that, that this plan uses. Cage. <laughs> Crowder. Okay, put Crowder in cage. Dead corpse. Okay, you're gonna lure the Crowder in with a dead corpse. Got it. Oh, the cure. There's a cure? Step one. Place dead corpse in cage. The corpse will produce a rotting smell. This is fun. The Crowder will smell the corpse and be lured to it. Oh, piece of candy. Close the cage. It can just like squeeze out of these though, couldn't it? Sorry, I'm... Step four, load tranquilizer gun with curing fluid. Okay, cool. Oh. Oh, it got him. He's dead. The Crowder. That looks like the drummer of Slipknot. What has happened? That doesn't sound good. Stabilized? Thanks for your help. Who is this, like, who is this video for? Welcome. Today you will be taught how to make the crowd a cure. Hello, this is Mickey. He will be helping you in your journey to make crowd a cure. Oh my god, as if it's like a, like a, like a blend, like a smoothie that you can just make. First, you need two cups of Crowder blood. This yeah. is the first step to healing a Crowder back to a human. Okay. Now pour Crowder blood into container. Yeah. Let it sit. Yeah. This is okay. Brilliant. Then grab human blood and pour into container. That's all it takes? Human blood and Crowder blood? It's like freaking Kool-Aid. Now mix. Mix that is definitely not blood. Looks good. I'm not gonna lie. I'll drink that. Open blender. Okay. Why do you need a blender? Pour in. It looks already blended. Almost forgot. Close the blender. Uh, <laughs> good one, 
Homer. Now blend all the chunks of human and Crowder's. <laughs> right, okay. Insert into needle. Brilliant stuff. Okay. Well, that was a little bit too basic, in honesty. So the cure for this whole thing, that's wiping out the whole population, is just to mix Crowder blood with human blood and just inject it into a Crowder. Interesting. Interesting stuff. And again, I guess there are some diseases that wiped out humanity before that were simply avoided just by washing your hands. Don't be dirty and just wash, basically. That's how you, uh, that's how you avoid the plague. Here we go. Last video, guys. It's... Hang on, is this... It's members only! Well, this is where it ends for us, guys. So it ends with... To be fair, it looks like it's coming to a close, potentially. Uh, well, the only thing that we haven't had a thing solution to is this thing that's coming from outer space towards Earth because of the Chernobyl explosion that sent out waves to this thing, supposedly. And it was known as Earth's last chance or last stand or whatever, but they're trying to deter it. I guess you would, wouldn't you? Would when when you have a cosmic deity or a cosmic being of that size coming towards you, like its hand is bigger than Earth. What are you going to do against that thing? You know, there's no weapons on Earth that could potentially like. Because even if you got like the biggest bomb ever, right, and launched it at this thing, it's just going to be like a on its finger. Like we're screwed. Let's just admit that, okay? We had our run. We had a good run, okay? We, dis we, we destroyed the planet whilst being here. You know, we did some good things. We did some bad things. Let's just call it quits. This is the cycle. This is how it goes, guys. You have your time, then you don't have your time. Well, there we go, guys. That was Nuclear Nightmare Analog Horror. Now, I did like the premise of this. I feel like it might have been... It could have been done a lot better. There could have been ways of doing this that could have been a lot more immersive. And what those things are, I don't really know. But I just know that when I'm immersed in something, it clicks. You know, maybe it's the whole trope, analog horror trope that throws me off because it feels like everyone does it. You know, the whole like starting off with static and then the hello, welcome to an analog horror, that kind of thing. And it's like, I like these modern, not modern ones, but ones that are more, like Greylock, for example, is a fantastic example of a great analog horror and how to do it. Um, I don't expect everyone to be on the level of Greylock, but I think at some point, you know, we need to think of new ways on how to engage someone into our, into analog horror. Because there are plenty of ways of doing it. But I'm not saying this was bad. By fact, no, it was not bad at all. It was really good. I liked the story. I liked the premise of this, this thing hitting the Earth 4.4 billion years ago, living inside the Earth. And then it was the Chernobyl explosion that sent a, like a boom through the Earth, I guess that awoken this fungus and sent out a signal to this creature thing, which is a terrifying thought. I do like that premise, and it'll be interesting to see where it goes and how it ties up, but that was Krusty Lobster, guys, so be sure to go like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you enjoyed my reaction, why not leave a like, rate, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.